Hello fellow Blenders, this is Peter here with PM Designs. In this video I'm going to show you a few different ways you can achieve the Sin City effect. Um, first of all, just how to make it look like the original graphic novel with these very sharp blacks and whites. And then later how to uh, render out in black and white but with some objects appearing in colour quite easily. So let's just get straight on with it. I've got this Batman set up here. Um, just because I thought Black Batman would look quite cool with the Sin City effect as well. And at the moment, nothing has a shader. Everything is just just black. And this works in EV or cycles, but I'm just going to do an EV for speed. So I'm going to start off here. I'm going to choose my Batman body. And at first, we're going to do what I call the layer weight shader. And you'll see why. First, I'm going to add an emission node. Plug that into my material output. Then I'm going to add a color ramp, plug that into my emission node, and then I'm going to add a layer weight node, and plug the facing into the factor of the color ramp. Okay, so if you don't know what a layer weight node, how a layer weight node works, it's it just whatever direction the camera is, it, it follows that. So it's kind of cool. It looks really cool. And so if we switch the color ramp to constant, if we bring this down a little bit, we start to get this very interesting effect where wherever we go we get a kind of kind of outline yeah um, this is not really true to you know it's not really accurate because wherever the lighting is this guy's got a permanent like rim light so it doesn't really work like that but it, it does look quite cool so um, before I continue I'm going to move this apart I'm going to add an invert node into here we put it on zero because I'm not using it on this one, but I might want to use it later. And all I'm going to do is copy and paste these to everything else. Um, if you come down to the layer weight node and adjust the blend, bring it up to like nine, and then bring this stuff along a little bit, you can see it kind of the 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 whiteness takes sort of eats more into the model. Yeah, and if we bring that down, it has a sharper edge to it, so you can adjust that yourself to your your taste. Now I select all of these, control C, and then I'm going to add it to his cape. I'll just plug that in there. So then we get the cool effect going on with his cape. And I've put these as separate materials because I, I'd like to be able to have complete control over it. For his eyes, because he's Batman, I'm just going to use an emission shader just like that because he's going to have glowing white eyes. And then for the face, this is why I added the invert node, because for the face, I want the face to be white like that. So it glows a bit more white and less black. And then here I can just mess with that until I get something I like to show the detail a bit more clearly. Okay, something like that. So you might be thinking, yeah, it looks cool. Maybe you're not thinking it looks cool. I think it looks cool. Um, but it's a bit boring. We can actually add some like texture to this. So if I say I wanted his armor to look a bit battle damaged, I'm going to go and add a noise texture or any texture you like, but noise looks quite cool. Plug the factor into the blend of the layer weight. And if I just bring this back a little bit for now and whack this scale right up, you can see it gets it creates some texture. So maybe that's a bit too much for just a bit of battle damage. Just uh, something like that. Yeah, looks like his, his armor has been worn and beaten up a bit. And you can mess with that as much as you want. Okay, so that's the first step. I think that would create quite a cool effect. We could step it up a notch. If I just bring this over, um, select all of this, Shift and D to duplicate, add a mix shader, pop it in here, and pop that in here. Okay, and now if I just, if I need to invert this, I can invert this one. And we can you know, start to add a bit more detail in there, something like that, which again looks quite cool. It's not true. It's not like true lighting because he's being lit from like all over. It looks like he's made of metal or something, but it looks quite cool. And then, you know, you could switch it around and you could go and add another layer of it so you get some more black in there and stuff like that. So you could keep going and keep going with that. That's just a suggestion. I, I quite like it just like this. Um, but yeah, just a suggestion for you. But let's say now that I've, I'm going to add this all to my, not the noise, 
I'm going to add this all to my background. Yeah, so now he's got this pedestal he's going to sit on it. I'm just going to add another. Let's try a Voronoi. See what that looks like. And switch it to distance to edge. See if we can make it look kind of stony. Yeah, it doesn't really work. Bring that right down. Yeah, nah, don't like that. Worth a try. So, okay, got that one, and I'm going to do the wall. Okay, and I'm going to do the pipes. Okay, so the reason I've added this invert node is maybe I just want to switch it around a bit. Or maybe on the wall I want to have that more white than it is black. Something like that might look interesting to you. Yeah, and you can mess around with this. This is basically affecting how much of it is being perceived by the camera. And again, you could add a texture to this if you wanted to. But I think that looks quite cool. Something like that with a bright sort of, yeah, about there. Okay, but let's say that you wanted, you wanted Batman to look a little bit sharper. We could easily do that with some line art. If you haven't used line art before, let's do it now. So I'm just gonna hold shift and press A add grease pencil, I'm going to add collection line art, I'm just going to go crazy. So it's added line art to everything. Um, so I'm going to come down to the mod, once I've got line art selected, come down to the modifier and choose my collection here to be Batman. Okay, change the line thickness to be about two. Okay, and now you'll see he's got some fine lines going around. Okay, so you can see those a bit more clearly now. Just in case you haven't used line up before, I'm going to quickly go through that. I'm just going to disable all of the lines. Okay, so we can add create, which is just contour. So wherever there's a sharp edge, it's going to add that. And you could change this one to be silhouette. So it's just a silhouette. Um, intersections, where you see here the eyelids meet the, the mask. There's a bit of an intersection between the meshes. So it's going to add a line there. Material borders would be like if, say, for example, I had one material on his shoulder and then a different material on his arm it would create a line there as well edge marks let's do an edge mark so for that what i've done here is i created a freestyle edge just to show you this in advance yeah so that's just a freestyle edge you just choose your edge right click mark freestyle edge and then i'm going to get a line appear there okay so that's freestyle edges you can add as many as you like so now if I go back here, yeah, I've got, it looks a little bit sharper. You've got some nice lines going on there. It looks a bit more interesting. So that's another idea. Um, we we'll disable line art for now because it does get a bit heavy. We're going to talk about the second um, shading method. I'm just going to hide my scene for a moment and focus on Batman. So starting off with the body, I'm going to just, I'm just going to disconnect all of this. And I'm going to add a new a new setup, right? This one only works in EV. Yeah, this is going to be a cell shader, which is very easy. I'm going to add a diffuse VSDF. And I'm going to add a shader to RGB. And then I'm going to add a color amp. And plug those all into each other. And nothing's going to happen because I don't have any lights available yet. So I'm just going to enable one light for now. Okay, so now we can see we're starting to get some light on in here. I'm going to change this to constant again. And I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Or quite a lot, actually. And then you see we start to get here just the outlines of Batman, which looks pretty cool, I think. <laughs> in my opinion, that looks really cool. And you could always go ahead and add another black in there if you wanted to um, just add some more depth to it or you could add three colors but then we're not really doing sin city that way um, but this is batman sin city so it's a bit different and again with this we can do the same thing where's my noise texture gone Ooh. bring this up here plug it into the color 
and I started to get some texture on Batman's outfit, Batman's costume, armor, whatever you want to call it, um, to make it look a bit more battle damaged. And so that's that's that one. Just adding, just add a, a light, and then we're going to add this basic cell shader setup, and we can replicate the effect on his cape. But his cape will barely show up, so I've already added another light, which will give that nice edge lighting there, and do the same thing on the scene. Or I could just leave the scene like that, which looks quite all right, actually. Just like that. It's pretty cool. Um, and you could have a mix of these, even. So you could have the, you know, the layer weight technique in the back and then the basic cell shader at the front. And it look, looks all right. looks quite cool. So just to make him look a bit se separated from that, I can bring back my line art, which is going to be set, oh, which is going to be set on only Batman. And I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. Okay, and I'm going to change the color to be white. That's too thick now. Yeah, so there's another another idea for you. Use white line art to separate your character from the background, if that's what you you know you want to do, or just keep it on black, just to give that extra edge. Or you could change it to gray. But yeah, I think you know that looks pretty cool like that. Not really completely Sin City, because Sin City wouldn't have the line art around the edge. It just has those sharp blacks and whites. But yeah, that's your start right there. And you just mix layer weight, or you could do the, the cell shader. Uh, let's, add the shell, so, uh, let's add the cell shader to his face, see how that looks. Yeah, a bit weird. Oh, because we've got the noise on. Yeah, and I'm going to invert it for this one, so that again it stays white with just the, like... Something like that. Looks okay. Not great, actually. Let's switch that back. Yeah, like that. Nice, cool, stylized cell shader. Okay. Right, part two. Let's make a render which looks like Sin City, the movie. Okay, so talking about Sin City movie, yeah, um, in Sin City, uh, Sin City the movie is all black and white, but there's the occasional touch of color. Um, how can we render that in Blender? So we could just render everything in black and white and then render the characters separately in color and add them on later. But then you have to go and alpha all the things which are in front of the character and you have to add shadow catches and you have to do all this. There's an easier way. So here's my scene I just set up just purely for this. Here's my little Marv character I model. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that sculpt. I made that sculpt in like a day. I think that looks quite good. <laughs> it looks pretty much, the clothes are rubbish, but the face looks quite accurate, the Marv. And then the scene I just downloaded an alleyway from, from I don't know, Sketchfab. So the first thing we need to talk about is compositing, okay? If you've never used Compositor before, you go into Compositor, this will be disabled, you enable it, and this is what you will start with. So to see what you're doing, you need to render something. Okay, so let's just do a very quick 64 sample render. Okay, so we just got this very basic color render. Yeah, and so now when we go to our Compositor, we should see, if we go to add viewer, add a viewer, pop that in down there and plug that in. Whoops. We can see what we've worked on here. And if you want to move this or move things around, you can press V to zoom that out, or you can right click to move your node south of it so you can see what you're doing. Okay, so I want my scene to be black and white, but I want Marv, this character, just in case you don't know, you should know who Marv is. Um, I want him to be rendered in color. But first, let's just do the black and white bit. Easy. So shift and add, search RGB to VW, and pop that in there. And I'm also going to um, plug it into my viewer so I can see it. So everything is now black and white. I want to say, I want to tell Blender to mask um, 
mar basically it's going to do like an inverted mar uh, an inverted mask so i'm going to add an id mask pop that in here okay at the moment i don't have anything to work with for this so i need to i'm going to go back to my layout for a moment i'm going to come down here to view layer properties and where it's got my passes and my data i want to enable material index okay so now when i go back to my compositor you'll see i have this index ma okay so i'm going to run that into my id mask okay i need to add a mix mix node which i'm going to plug in here for now i'm just going to disable the composite i i, I just it's messy i just want it in the viewer so at the moment i've got my image going into an rgb to black and white which is then going into this mix yeah and it's mixed with white so I need to mix my original color image with this as well because I want the color from Marv and then this ID mask is going to mask the color yeah it's going to mask the black and white from being black and white so I'm just going to choose a number here I'm going to set the number as like five if you leave it as zero all of your materials if I just show you yeah they have a pass index a default at zero so unless you want to go through and change everything just change this one to anything above zero so one for now i'm going to plug this alpha into the factor here so then if i just go to my um, character yeah find my right so find my materials S down here in the settings you'll need to expand that one pass index just change it to one and that's it i'm going to do that for all of his all of Marv's materials. Okay, so once you've done that, unfortunately it won't show in the compositor, but I have masked all of his, all of Marv. Yes, yeah, so now if I just plug this back into composite and I render, we have a Sin City esque, my attempt, at, my very quick attempt at a Sin City esque scene. So yeah, Marv is color, everything else is black and white. And it looks cool i think it looks cool and it's very easy and it means you don't have to go ahead and like render out all, everything without your character in it and then render your character separately and then layer it up later but yeah that's a 64 sample very low render and now that's it I'll just show you this setup here one more time yeah you don't need the viewer so you can ignore that but yeah my id mask is here i've changed the number i changed the number on all of marv's items or his materials and that's my mask going into here also if you're rendering with alpha if you haven't used compositor before don't forget to plug the alpha into the alpha over here but yeah that's it if you found that useful please drop a like thanks very much